All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the game tonight. It'll be Center White. Uh, uh, Center White's a uh, PE uh, Overwatch team uh, against uh, SVSU, uh, Saginaw Valley State University Blue. Uh, tonight, um, we're going to see a pretty, a pretty familiar lineup here with uh, Big Soup, Doodoo Boodoo, Rat King, Chonky Ghost, and Star Garden starting. Uh, and a bit of an interest, interesting map. We usually see Lijong be the first map, but uh, Nepal is always uh, has a special place in everyone's heart um as being uh, another uh, decent uh, control map uh, really known for its uh, very uh, brawl centric uh, compositions and it looks like speaking of brawl it looks like center white is going to be uh is going to be uh, going to uh, pull out that composition here with the Arissa, reaper junkrat moira and lucio looking to get up close and personal with svsu i'm just gonna it, that's a lot to say so i'm just gonna go and say saginaw um but yeah as we uh, get into this match uh, i'm really interested to see uh, how they're uh, gonna be able to close assistance uh lucio is gonna be a big part of that star garden's gonna need to be able to stay alive and help sustain the brawl at the front line but also a lot of recent uh, changes have also come through everyone's hp has gone up uh hitboxes uh, have been increased so that's easier to take and big souping pull off the map falcon with an early pick and that's just gonna open the fight up for uh saginaw here and center white's gonna have to back up uh, speaking of hitboxes, Falcon uh, definitely using that hitbox to take out Big Soup, but uh, Mega 72, uh, 728 is going to get taken out by Chonky Ghost, and they're just going to take it back. They don't care that they're down a tank. They're just going to walk back in and uh, just clean up two. And they're looking to flip this fight. They just need a touch point. They're not going to get it, but this should be a one fight for them. As Falcon does go down, Chonky Ghost uh, showing off his skill and his aiming on um, uh, Moira here. Throwing out skill orb, uh, not a good example on the, the uh, damage orb there. Uh, and ooh, a Star Garden will go down. Racking will uh, answer back with a trick. And as both supports are down on the side of Saginaw, it will be Center White taking this, uh, taking back this point and also winning this fight. A lot of uh, percentage uh, is going to be coming up as uh, uh, Falcon and the rest of Saginaw will be coming back on their respawns. Uh, but so far, really good momentum for Center College. A lot of good discipline being able to disengage that fight and uh, go back in really turns the fight in their favor. And as we're approaching this fight, uh, Rat King does have the ultimate. Ooh, big super looking for the pick. Not going to be able to find it. Cleanse will come through uh, from the Kiriko, but that is a key cooldown that is out. Uh, just a lot of damage coming in into this choke here. And a lot of low health bars on the side of Saginaw as well. But ultimates, will, uh, this will be an ult fight here. Uh, one fight, uh, one ultimate will, at least, at least one ultimate will be used. And that will be the Queen Rampage coming through. Going to be able to hit three. Dudu Boodoo trying to hold down the front line. Going to get his uh, Wraith forced out. But only a little bit of space. Uh, Dudu Boodoo looking for the kills uh, with the death boss. I'm not going to find it. But he will get the headshot into Sergeant Pepper on Liana. As uh, trades will be going back and forth. But it looks like it will be going in Sarah's favor. As Dudu Boodoo... Uh, Big Soup and Chunky Ghost will be cleaning up uh, Saginaw's team, and this is solid percentage. Only having to use it, only really having to use that Death Blossom in return for the Queen ult. As Falcon will be swapping over to the Zarya now. Uh, probably going to look to combo with Squishy a bit, uh, look, looking to uh, get some bubbles on the Reaper, make sure that uh, the Reaper is protected as he's uh, walking in, just shooting their, uh, just face tanking their tank. As uh, Big Soup will allow the space, noticing that the Zarya beam is going to eat through a lot of the damage, but uh, Junky Ghost will be beating him down. Rat King saying out the tire, gonna take out uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart, as they will be looking to change, uh, they will be looking to uh, pursue these, uh, these last staggers here, trying to clean up the spike, keep it clean. Junky Ghost will take down Falcon. But uh, J Rod, uh, J Rod Nasty will be taken out. Ooh, big beat from Star Garden. Gonna be able to counter that uh, Squishy's uh, Reaper ult there. And this will be a stagger onto the May and Big Soup with the final kill. And that is a solid 100% to 6% from Center White. Solid gameplay over overall. Uh, the ult cycling has been immaculate so far. Really only having to use like a one or two ults each fight to win. And yeah, Big Soup congratulating uh, Falcon on that uh, big knife pull. That was a big opening uh, for uh, Saginaw. But, hey, it's just, sent, again, Center White's discipline just to be able to get back into that fight. That allowed them to take that map. And uh, yeah, this, this uh, next map, uh, not going to have any death pits. So unfortunately, we won't be seeing uh, Queen Knife coming through and knocking someone off the map. Uh, there is a, there is a coast, though, on the right of uh, how we're looking at here. So Star Garden could, uh, with... Um, with a buff to uh, Lucio's boop, it increased distance and increased uh, movement lockout time. We could be seeing some boops if uh, Saginaw gets too close to the right edge. Um, but as we move forward, uh, Big Soup gonna swap onto the Zarya. Looks like he's gonna look the Mirror Falcon, but ev everything else is gonna be looking to stay the same. Doo Doo Boo Doo on a signature character, the Reaper. Uh, but yeah, a lot of damage coming in at the front line. Like, all so many low health bars, and Chonky Ghost will clean up the tank, and Rat King following through with a kill onto Sojourn. And Center White just again pushing forward off of that initial pick, just looking to clean up here as it will. Let's just one by one, uh, Saginaw will fall. 
Uh, J-Rod Dynasty. Uh, looks like he will be able to get out. Uh, Sarah White opts to not chase, which is smart as their spawn is right where um, where J-Rod Dynasty will uh, treat back to. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Back to teleport. Gonna go and uh, get himself to safety. Uh, and yeah, as we are uh, as we're coming up on this next fight, uh, not as much as many kill sets there were that fight. It went by so fast that there weren't a lot. There wasn't a lot of opportunities to build ultimates here. Chunky Ghost will be coming up on his coalescence, but still decently far off. This will still be a neutral fight uh, as uh, cooldowns and damage will be exchanged. Uh, ooh, Doo Doo Boodoo, super low, but the bubble will sa uh, save him, and Chunky Ghost will be able to heal him up as well. Very, very similar strategies coming out from both sides. Damage coming through the front line. It's just the Reaper damage, Zarya damage, the bubble cycles. Just so much sustain and damage on this front line. And as the longer this fight goes, the more it is in Senna's favor, as they will build the Coalescence, looking to get to clean up. Uh, Moira will go down. Dudu Budu going to go and take her out. And uh, once again, Senna White looking to chase. A kill on to Mega728. Falcon will go down to Star Garden. Lucio showing that he is now a DPS with his increased damage and projectile size. And that's another cleanup for center. Again, only having to use one ult. Uh, oh, well, Saganos was not happy about that as three characters will be swapping out. Uh, make that four, I believe. Uh, that's going to be uh, Sigma, Bastion, Ana, and Baptiste now on the field alongside the Sojourn. Now, Saginaw will be looking for a lot of damage. Bastion got trapped. We'll have to be, uh, Lamb will have to be committed to keep him alive. Star Garden will take it out. Uh, still 5v5 on the points. Dudu Budu might be looking to get an ult here, but he's going to go in and back out with a bubble to help him save, save himself. Big Soup does not have that bubble to save himself, though, as he ate. I'm Big Soup. Uh, Dudu Budu is look, posturing. He's looking for the ult, but he's going to pop it. He's going to get one. He's going to looking for two. Going to go and get tattoo. We're going to clean up the Bastion, but J-Rod and Nasty will take him down before he can get the third, but Chunky Ghost is there. Trade for trade between Center White and Saginaw. As they are now looking to clean up this map as this is last fight territory. And it's currently, a, I believe, a 3v2 in favor of Center White. And they have point advantage as well. Ooh, almost getting the boop uh, off a of point to force a C9. But Racking Will just going to clean up the Sojourn, trying to touch. Baptiste trying to stay on for as long as he can, trying to allow enough time to get his tank and the rest of the team back. But Dudu Boodoo will take him out. The tire will come through. Not going to find much, but Dudu Boodoo is cleaning up, showing that he is the Reaper guy. 3k for him to clean out this map. And that will be Center White immediately going up 1 to 0 on Nepal solid performance from Sarah White this map. The, this composition has been looking really good for them as once again Rat King will be getting the play of the game uh, uh play of the game like on this junk rat and it's what, yep there it's one two I was expecting a tire play I'm not gonna lie but just the spam damage through this choke is just crazy uh as he only gets one kill that was that was that was that was a crazy play of the game <laughs> uh I mean if, any, if anything doo -doo -boo probably should have gone that one with two kills compared to one but with that early uh, win in the series that will be Sarah White going up one to zero as we move on to escort so once we get back from the break we will see what we got so we will see you then
All right, welcome back. We are now on map two, which will be Circuit Royale. Uh, typically, uh, probably the most popular escort map out of uh, all the maps on Overwatch right now. Um, just a really fun map to play. Uh, it has its own like distinctive style. You usually see a lot of snipers come out on this map. A lot of Sigma as well for uh, all you tank players out there. Uh, just normally just long range compositions, high damage, high pick potential, just all around just good damage and range. So I will be interested to see what they will be coming out with. Uh, due to Voodoo, uh, definitely a lot of high damage on the Reaper, but not a lot of range, but still going to opt into the Reaper pick uh, over something like a Sojourn or a Soldier, Hanzo, uh, anything like that. But uh, as his reputation is, uh, he is very much, he very, he very much knows how to maneuver around his Reaper on these types of maps, uh, even in open space where Reaper might not benefit all that much, but he is a master at, of his craft. And he is ready to go on that Reaper. I'm Stargarden, uh, gonna bonk, his, bonk their head on the, the top of that railing there. I'm not gonna be able to climb all the way up, but we'll eventually find their way up. As uh, a lot of Center White's gonna be stacking up here on this high ground. Yeah, there is big soup on the Sigma, the big Sig. And uh, oh, there we go, cheeky positioning from Doodoo -doo Boodoo, uh, looking to maybe catch a uh, Widowmaker off guard. Yeah, they've already pinged her. Uh, his teammates are are already pinging him, pinging her for him. And there it is. There's a surprise attack from Doodoo -doo Boodoo. Gonna get the kill before Lamp can come out. And looking for a second one, but Lamp's gonna come out trying to save the bap. Uh, Doodoo -doo Boodoo trying to get out of there. Gonna get Mega, but he needs to live. But he doesn't have Wraith. His Wraith will expire as Mega Seven Two Eight will get the kill. And Shadow Wing on the Mercy will get the res onto Widowmaker as. Widowmaker will now be back in this fight, and they need to care for that. Skello Jello gonna get picked by the Hanzo Pocketed Mercy, as um, Hanzo not gonna be able to one shot on this new patch, but uh, with the Mercy Pocket, uh, it, the he if you hit a headshot onto a squishy target, uh, not squishy on Widow, but well, I, I mean they're on they're on Widow, so I guess you could probably hit it on a squishy uh, as a squishy target. But like on these uh, very low HP targets, uh, you can definitely confirm that headshot. And while I was yapping about headshots, um, Saginaw will actually take that first fight. Uh, the pick onto Big Soup will uh, bring this fight in Saginaw's favor. As they are looking to contest, this will be last fight for this first point. Uh, and Big Soup trying to hold it down on the front line. Uh, Doodoo Boodoo TPing in onto the Widow, looking for an assassination. Not going to be able to get it. He's going to need his support to bail him out as uh, everything came out. Uh, Suzu, Lamp, uh, Healing. Uh, all came out to be, uh, to save uh, Doodoo Boodoo there. Uh, that might not work in Center's favor. They'll need to be careful. Skeletal almost getting caught out with the Widow. Rock is going to land on the Falcon. Going to deal a lot of damage, but Shield is broken, so Big Soup will have to care as Widow does have the angle, but an even better angle will be held by Mega728 on the Hanzo. Big Soup looking for the Rock, not going to be able to find it. Still trying to hold it down. Going to go and give him some space. Uh, let Doodoo Boodoo do some of the heavy lifting, but uh, not going to be able to lift enough as Squishy's going to take him out with the... With, uh, Looks like a body shot there. And Saginaw, very, very nice momentum on their side. This is this is very, very different from what we saw in the first map. As it looks like uh, like where Center White had uh, much of control of the momentum on to control. Uh, Saginaw showing that same momentum. So this is scary for Center White, honestly. They need to be careful about this momentum and prevent, see if they can prevent a snowball. They might need to wait a second before engaging. Might need to build up uh, Chunky Ghost Ult, who's actually getting really close. 95 to that window. That's going to be a lot of amplified damage coming through. Just needs to pop it, but the hack's going to come through. Going to force the Signe eat as the window will be popped. Looking for a lot of damage, but before they can get all the damage in, uh, Skeletal Gel will go down. Big Soup answering back and just pick after pick. Uh, Center White trying to turn this in their favor. Doo -doo Boo trying to look for the assassination. Not going to be able to find it. But Big Soup is pushing the front line. Chonky Ghost is going to clean up with a 2k. Uh, may, might be able to lock up the Sig. Uh, they're walking forward. They, they want to kill the Sig. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get it. As they're going to have to back up. Big Soup going to stay in for a little bit. Knowing that he does have enough HP and sustain to live. Skello Jello. Oh, well, almost getting caught out by the rock there. Luckily, Sigma no longer has. Due to um, the increased health pools. He no longer has his one shot capability. With the rock and primary fire. And going into this next fight. A lot of ultimates on both sides. Uh, three, three to four disadvantage for center, but um, a tempo is key as center white will be popping that uh, Kitsune. Big Soup looking for a flux, gonna try to lock up the bap. Uh, he doesn't have lamp. This could be a free kill, but Skello Jello will get the kill into Hanzo uh, while everything's going on at the front. Uh, trying to build up that rail, looking for another shot, but center white will be able to force him back though. Chunky Ghost will go in and uh, take out his uh, uh, the Baptiste on the other team. And yeah, that will be a one fight for center just based off of that first initial pick. As a swap onto Kiriko from Shadow Wing will be coming out. No more pocketed Hanzo, so 
a little less of fear about one shots. Uh, but they still do need care of the, for the spam damage, especially now with the Sim on the field. Squishy swapping from Widow onto the Sim now. Uh, the uh, Sim orbs on the uh, the secondary fire are, are massive. If anyone's seen the hitbox on that, like uh, like you couldn't you couldn't miss like at point blank range or even at long range to be honest. Uh, Big Soup trying to hold down this front line needs to care for the flux though. Skellagella will take a lot of healing off the board with that kill into Shadow Wing. Rock will be used initiating Falcon with the flux, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and they're just center white just does not care they're going to kill the rest of your team before you even have a chance to get that flux off big soup with two looking for a hack doo -doo 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 looking for a hack onto a third not gonna be able to get it suit the suzu on the enemy team will be able to uh, get uh to save him uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. raise he, he wants that kill uh he was aiming for the hanzo accidentally hit the kiri in the back line uh you know what you know what? two two for one doesn't secure the kill but it's still gonna get that damage in um a tp coming through okay they're getting aggressive saginaw's get playing really aggressive here uh as uh, nemform uh, onto the recently changed ramatra is going to be coming out uh skull jello will go down but chunky ghost will be taking the tank off the field Ta uh, center white now has tank advantage as a uh, big soup is trying to rely on building a flux here but he might not need to use it if starting on pops their old super early rock not going to be able to connect uh, but this fight's already super scrappy if center white just holds their ground then they should be able to live uh, sustain through this and yeah, this will be a reset. Uh, no, um, no victor in that fight there. Uh, Saginaw just gonna go and reset. I uh, get the numbers back. Uh, prepare for the next fight. But with the clock going down, this one man left. Big soup with a big flux. Gonna get four. A big, big flux there. Gonna be able to lock up Falcon. Mega seven two eight gonna go down as well. Uh, just three squishies remaining. Looking for the rock. Gonna hit it onto the sim with a follow up primary fire. Uh, and they're gonna walk forward see if they can uh, get a kill into these last two stragglers but they will be able to get out big soup or i'm sorry not big soup but uh, doo doo boo doo he's in the back line he's stalking his prey he sees the he sees sakiri going afk a second maybe checking their stats uh but he will get the hack onto the sim looking for a lot of burst damage coming through uh not gonna be able to lock it up oh never mind i take that back star garden gonna be able to get the snipe on the squishy emp coming through looking for a cleanup here uh he will go down but that will provide enough uh, damage and utility for center white to push in here as this is about to be last fight if they get one more pick here and yep there it is chonky ghost securing that kill onto falcon that will guarantee that they need to get back fast saginaw needs to get to this point as fast as possible dragon being used star gun wash out <laughs> the dragon jump scare from the right side of the screen almost got him uh but he will go they will go and live pop their ult and the skello jello will be able to get the kill onto squishy and the uh, window will be popped as well a lot of damage coming through as it looks like Sarah White will just be cleaning up Skello Jello, getting two on that really nice, very nice uh, play around there. And yeah, I, that's just, that's very decisive. Uh, looked a bit scary at, at the start, but um, yeah, Sarah White, using their ults first, was able to halt that momentum and got him stuck on second point. So really good stuff coming from Sarah White here. So I'm interested to see now if uh, uh, Saginaw really swaps with their comp at all. They, uh, they're running like what we usually see with uh, the Sigma, the Widow, the Hanzo with the Stark. But as soon as they got to Streets phase uh, on the second point, they started to struggle a bit. Uh, they had to swap up the comp a lot. Uh, had to make uh, just a lot of swaps just based off of, I, I guess, like comfortability. Um... But yeah, there it is. Uh, I mean, the Sigma will be staying here. Uh, Bab and Kiri will be there as well. Now, Junkrat and Bastion. That's interesting. That's interesting. That that will um that does follow along the lines of what this map is usually known for uh, for its a uh, high damage. But from the Junkrat and Bastion, it's pretty rare. Big soup on the Diva. That's interesting. That's interesting. So with uh, the recent changes, Diva has actually been seeing a lot more playtime, at least in ranked. So I would like to see uh, if Big Soup can pull this off, because I'd imagine like going forward, Diva could be a really good pick uh, for the rest of the season. So starting off with a big win here uh, could be a big boost in confidence. That is, if he sticks on to uh, the Diva. So it looks like swaps won't be coming through yet. So it looks like this is the composition we'll, we, we will be having. Chunky Ghost on the Ana, Star Garden will be on the Kiri. And uh, Rebirth Sombra with along with the Diva. Normally, you usually see a uh, Lucio Moira with this composition, but they will be looking to play a little bit more pokey, play a little bit more of a dive with the Ana and the Kiri rather than just like full on brawl dive. Uh, but yeah, a lot of um, they need to be careful for the spam damage though. Big Soup, it's almost like he had some sort of like telepathy. He knew that uh, he felt like 
he felt a disservice in the force like they're they're junk breath there's a bastion sigma damage so much damage on the field and he picks the perfect tank to just uh, negate a lot of that damage as he will be just slowly pushing towards cart they go and help uh, his team on the high ground there gonna go and take aggressive angle and force him out that will be the turret coming out but he, oh big soup needs to live though he has a lot of HP now with the recent changes to HP, uh, but he does need to manage it as um, a lot of more damage will be coming through with bigger hitboxes. So yeah, not a lot happening so far. Just uh, just damage being traded back and forth. Big Soup taking a lot of damage. He needs to be careful. Gonna get rocked, but not gonna be able to die. Turret will be coming out. Doo -doo Boodoo looking for some sort of assassin assassination in the back. Or maybe he's just hanging out by the statue admiring its beauty. Uh, the statues of Mako, I hear, are pretty pricey, so maybe he's, uh, got the, nope, never mind, he doesn't care about the statue, he only has eyes for the Bap, as he, well, Bap also has eyes for him, as he's gonna get, uh, he's gonna get the headshot onto Doodoo -doo Boodoo. Uh, 4v5 now, uh, Center White needs to be careful, as this might have to be a reset now with, uh, their flanker off the table. They could also sustain here and just hold the space, which, so honestly, it looks like Big Soup will be looking to do that, which is smart from him. Uh, he just needs to live. Nano will be coming through on the big soup. He needs to get in there. Make sure that he's getting as much value on this Nano as possible. Uh, Bastion Tur will be coming out. Bap Window on the enemy team will be coming out. Um, but not a lot happening still. <laughs> like, it, I'm pretty sure like there's only been like one death for the past like two minutes. As Bomb will be coming through. It's big into the back line, but the Lamp will save a lot. Big crush onto the Baptiste. And that will be a 2k from Big Soup. He's looking for more though. He's hungry. He wants that play of the game. He's looking for the cure. You're not gonna be able to get her though. She's gonna be oh nope, Skello Gel will get the headshot. At, yeah, Reaper is a sniper now. Which, uh, he will get the headshot. Doo Doo Voodoo just gonna clean it up though with the 2k in the back. And that will be another one fight for center and a four, uh, first point completion. And given where um the check the last uh, checkpoint is, or where uh, Center White needs to push to win, like this is very much in their favor. This is a very awkward uh, spot to hold. Doo Doo Voodoo setting up for EMP looking for it gonna let them come in a little bit saying set up for an ep probably a follow up with the rush i'd imagine but they're all clumped together this could be a perfect time if center white's ready to go in looks like they are doo doo boodoo just walking in he doesn't care who detects him he's gonna send the emp out and it's gonna get cleansed immediately but yeah the star garden will get the kill on the falcon before he can get the flux off and that will be center white looking to take this as doo doo boodoo getting a big 2k looking to clean it up on the reaper squishy will it does have his number though and will take him out but yeah the rest of center white We'll be able to clean up whoever's left on point, and that will be Center White taking this escort map, Circuit Royale, as Center White will be going up two to zero. And another really well uh, playing uh, game for Center as Chonky goes, a rare support play as uh, on the Baptiste with the window, You're gonna get that um, that perfect tracking onto the Mercy, looking for the Baptiste as well. Just an all around just great play. Gonna get Rock to disrupt his play, but he's just gonna go and get three to to answer back and yeah two to zero in the series against saginaw as we will be going on to third point on flashpoint so what map will we have uh we'll have to see after the break so see you all then
All right, welcome back for map three of this pretty intense series so far. Three in favor of center white fight. I'm interested to see uh, how uh, Saginaw will be answering back on this third point. And uh, as I have been solo casting the last two maps, we now have a second commentator, a fellow gold team member and resident support player for the team. Uh, Carp is here. Hello, hello. I am happy to be here. So let's get into it, shall we? Yep, yep, I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, from what you've seen, uh, I don't know if uh, you've been watching this game uh, from the from the room, but uh, have you noticed anything about this game at all? Dude, it's going extremely fast. Mm, um, yeah. In a non-trash talk way, they are just taking these maps left and right. Um, so I'm expecting a quick, a quick match here on Flashpoint. Yeah, momentum very much in Sarah White's favor, and they are they are running out with this uh, signature composition. Um, well, I say that Doodoo Voodoo -doo on the Sombra. He's he's pretty well known for this, but um, yeah, this is not the this is not the composition we saw in Nepal. As uh, Big Soup will also be busting up the Ram as well. Also a rare uh, bit of a rare pick uh, to see from him, but he has been getting the hours in on him. As just a little bit of a poke base coming through at this beginning here. You gotta watch out for that Mabel. Big Soup must be good. Oh, he's already walled off here. A lot of damage coming through. Uh, but the ram is also uh, taking a lot of damage. Lamp's gonna be forced out. This might be a perfect time to push. Slow will be coming through. Gonna guarantee the lock up on the ram as Big Soup will get the kill, and they're looking to just chase him down. Uh, Rat King just throwing in a whole bunch of grenades. Uh, but yeah, that will be Big Soup cleaning up, and Sarah White will get his first point. Solid cleanup. Solid cleanup from Sarah White. Oh my gosh, look at that ult percentage though. Trying to get already has 86% yeah. ult charge, and then. And then you have Racking um, Drake. He's got already 64. Dude, his uh, his junker, his junk rat is like absolutely insane. Um, that spam damage is just really, really good, especially on this first point here. So. Yeah, a lot of uh, lot of ultimates have been uh, charging super fast this entire series. Uh, and Chunky Ghost being well uh, known for this Moira play, uh, I am not surprised. Uh, also, a quick note before this fight starts, uh, Rat King uh, actually not wasn't actually named after Junkrat. Uh, this was just uh, just he just happens to play Junkrat for this team, uh, but he has been popping off on the Junkrat. Speaking of Junkrat, Doo 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 looking for the uh, kill on the Squishy on the Junkrat, looking to get the kill. Big Poop will go and clean him up as the whole essence will come through. Uh, a lot of damage coming through. Stargarn will get the kill on the Mega uh, Seven Two Eight. Now on the I just realized uh, swapping from DPS to tank, but trades are going back and forth. But it just doesn't matter as the first point will be captured for Center White. I'm inc incredibly impressed by um, uh, Doodoo Voodoo's or Diego's uh, Sombra here. I I've only really watched his uh, Reaper gameplay, but seeing his Sombra yeah. gameplay is something to watch. He is very, very good at this flank play style, um, and his aim is on point today. Yeah, if the last two semesters were the uh, the Reaper one trick arc for Doodoo -doo Voodoo, <laughs> this is definitely the variety arc. Uh, Doo Doo Boodoo has been busting out multiple characters: the Bastion, the Soldier, the Sombra. Sombra was has been the most recent one, but we've been seeing a lot of variety from Doo Doo Boodoo, and he's been excelling at all of them. Uh, he needs to be careful though. Uh, he needs to make sure that he doesn't die with EMP. Ooh, a lot of damage will come through, but he will go and be safe from uh, by supports and also him rounding the corner. Big Sue popping the annihilation is gonna go in. Uh, just looking for a cleanup here, but fight might, might already be over before he even starts. The team is already wiped. That was a matter of like what, not even like five seconds? That was quick. Yeah, oh, found the trap. <laughs> Dude, look. Oh, oh, well. Unfortunate. Yep, unfortunate. Uh, Squishy will get the kill into Doodoo Voodoo, but Doodoo Voodoo will be able to get back fast uh, with a lot of these uh, kills coming through uh, late into this fight. Um, they might not be able to. Well, they, they'll, they'll be able to get back, but if they get back in time, they're probably only going to have one fight to. They, or you take this. Like, if it, they'll get, like, Sarah White, I'd imagine, would get the ninth okay, Star Garden. Star Garden? Oh, oh you had the, you, the, the <laughs> angle was lined up. He saw the edge. You just think he just couldn't go for it. Oh. Sergeant Pepper bashing Rat King's tire out of existence. As Falcon will get the kill on the Rat King. Uh, this is looking a bit scrappy right now. I think I'm watch out for this Ram ult here. Ram is actually incredibly low on the other team. Oh, yeah. Big, big EMP trying to turn this fight. It's gonna hit everyone, I believe. And Coalescence will be coming out, but it is a 2v5, and that will be Squishy with the tire. Uh, gonna be uh, able to clean up this fight. 99 to 0, though. Not bad. We don't really. So you're going in this next fight with like a little bit of an ult disadvantage, but I think B can clean it up quite nicely in response to the um, the Ram ult on the other team. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, big, big, big. Yeah, sorry, go on. Now, how do you think they should engage this year? Just um, uh, I, I think I think, think Star Garden should mess, uh, should go and aggressive with the beat. Uh, look for a kill. Uh, gonna guarantee them a lot of space. Gonna be enough to get a uh, big soup through the front line. Gonna take out Star Cup. They need care for this annihilation. He's just running it down, trying to get kills. But Star Garden is crazy on their Lucio. We're gonna go. We'll go and lock up uh, Mega 728 uh, Squishy Trapped Rat King. <laughs> he wasn't able to escape. Oh, wow. Star that's the boot buff for you. That's, I'm pretty sure Falcon just got sent to Mars. If Mars is at the bottom, bottom of the lake, uh, Falcon, let me know. Uh, but uh, that will be 2-0 for this map so far, as they are on map point. Now, this map, I see it. It's like I said, I, feel, I already felt like this map was going to go incredibly quick, and they are pretty uh, wrecked so far. Oh, are they getting another cleanup here? Yeah, Saginaw is super split. They need to play this super careful. But a lot of uh, Suzu will be invested. Healing's coming through. Squishy's going to take out Rat King. But Sergeant Pepper will go down. This fight's going super back and forth. At this point, they either need to like back out or die here on the other team. But because they, uh, Thinner has the advantage at the moment. Thinner has to be very careful about this. Um, oh, well. Yeah, yeah, the big soup does not care yeah, about the Reaper. He's uh, he's like, nah, I've, I've anticipated. I thought ahead of this. I knew Reaper was gonna back out, so I just run on the front line. And that's just that's just big. That's just a big uh, mental for a big soup, just being able to mm -hmm. run through uh, and just clean up everyone. Uh, and that will guarantee um, not necessarily old advantage, but to, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Voodoo's gonna be able to escape with its life by uh, trying to lock up uh, the brig by uh, shooting a virus into her shield. I don't think the shield can get hacked though. Or, uh, I don't know if the shield can get a virus. Not sure how shield anatomy works, but uh, they're looking. Saginaw's looking to rotate long? Or maybe they're going. Yeah, they're. Looks like they're I going think it's not a great decision for them to go, um, to go through main here. Yeah, with this uh, Junkrat spam, it might get a bit tricky. Oh, okay, maybe if they pull and the MPD. A lot of ultimates coming through. Big Snoop wow. getting lock up two, but Cole Essence going to be there to lock up uh, two more. Uh, well, one more, and then due to Boodoo and Racking will follow through. Yeah, this, uh, this is not great for Saginaw right now. Uh, Center White still has two more ults after that, uh, three ult investment. Uh, they do have three ults to answer back, so they, they might have uh, one last rally here. I mean, not Brig rally, but, you know, uh, one last team rally. Try to get back to the point before uh, time, the time ex... Yeah, they will get touched, but it might not be enough to proc overtime. Overtime, but overtime will come through. Uh, horse uh, beat here. Yeah, big beat. Gonna keep a lot of people alive. Okay. Finish it off. There, go, there it is. Oh, oh. Uh, not gonna find anyone, but uh, the, the rest of the team uh, will go and clean up. Uh, looking for the Arisa and the Sombra left. Sargon will go down though, but uh, yeah, it's only the Arisa left on point, and that will be center white. Cleaning this up. 3 0 oh, almost, nice, nice, except nice. don't die to the Reaper. Uh, mix, yeah, nice, nice. Big Soup will go in and get the cleanup on the Falcon, and that will be a fast and decisive 3 0 oh from Center College. Very well played. It's very good. See, it was quick. It was very, correct. very quick. Very, very, quick. very fast. How many minutes are we even in the game? That was like, that was a quick game. Ooh, big Soup. Big Ram. I will say here, like Soup is like a very, very confident thing. Every time I've seen him play, he just go, he just goes. He's all go, no stop. Just very, very confident. Like look at this. Go. Yeah, like does not care. Yeah, just laying haymakers into him. And yeah, Big Soup with the big confidence this game in this big game against the big university. Just, all, just big all around. And that will be a big 3-0 coming in from Center White with the closing out of the series. But yeah, that will be uh, our game uh, for this week for Overwatch White. Uh, tonight at 10 p.m., uh, Overwatch Gold uh, will be taking on Georgia Tech. Yeah, you're, that's right. Georgia Tech's A-team uh, on the NECC stream. So not on center stream, but uh, tune in to um, twitch.tv slash NECC underscore esports or just uh, TTV uh, underscore uh, NECC. I'm not actually not sure what the link is, but it's there. If you just look up NECC and, and Twitch, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But thank you all for tuning in. Uh, and we'll see both of us later tonight. Adios.